Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend Heroes Trails of Zero. Last time, we finished up Chapter 1, and today, we're starting up the next chapter. Essentially, we figured out that Ravash was actually behind the, um, the attacks, and it wasn't the Divine Wolves. The Divine Wolves were actually helping us. It was these black dogs, or these, like, military dogs, or these war dogs, that Ravash were controlling and attacking the various villages around Crossbell in order to kind of gain a foothold in the village's economy to gather, you know, septium and other things like that, um, maybe to get special contracts with the hospital, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, this guy looks like the uh, mob boss here. Well, totally! They would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for us kids! Yeah, we stopped him in downtown, and we stopped him last time as well. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Oh. Oh no, what are they gonna do? Oh. Uh-oh. What, are they gonna firebomb our house or something? Oh. Wow, that wouldn't be good at all. Whoa! Oh! Well, what do you mean by that? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're still after their little rival mafia, the Hayu. Oh, Garcia. I guess that's the name of the big guy here. And the fat man, is he the godfather? The, the mafia boss? Like, the first in command? I guess so. President Marconi. Huh. Oh. Chairman Hartman, who's that? Is that the congressman that they keep on bribing? What man? The one clad in black? The assassin? Is that guy talking about Joshua? Who are you talking about? No, a veteran Jaeger. Cow? Who are all these people? Oh, well, maybe they're talking about people in the Hayu that I just... I'm not aware of yet. Oh. You mean auction? With a C? Or is that something else? I don't know what that is. Um, I'm gonna assume that's like an auction? Unless I'm completely mistaken. I don't know. I'm sure if I am mistaken, somebody in the comments will let me know. You guys always do. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is the Hayu, the assassin, the black assassin there. So they're not talking about Joshua, they're talking about someone else. But who could it be? What's going on now? Who's this chick? She's really pretty. Wait, this is that girl, um, what was her name? Rixia, I think? She was the girl who was looking for a, uh, a place to live. We, back in the prologue. The Moon Princess. Huh. Who's the Moon Princess? Is she the Moon Princess? Maybe that's the name of this show. Again with the, that's what I'd like to say, but... You know, <laughs> we've already seen that before. Oh, okay. I'm gonna assume that these are the Arc NCL, um, dancers. Kind of like Cirque du Soleil, I guess. I've seen a couple of their shows, they're really good. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. And if you're wondering where we've seen Rixia before, I'll enlighten you. She was in the, um, the little interlude, the little intermission back in uh, Cold Steel 2. She was um, Lloyd's party member back then. So I'm imagining that she's going to join us, but I kind of don't think that she joins us in this game. I want to say that she joins us in Azure, because I'm pretty sure we only have like the four party members you know, with us right now. We don't really get any more party members for this game. I could be wrong, though. I've been wrong before, multiple times, actually, so who knows. Oh, okay. Where is your homeland? <laughs> oh, wonder what the relationship is like. Uh, looks like the blonde over here is, um, you know, training Rixia in order to be a dancer, but I don't know, Rixia wants to go back home or something? What letter? Is her mother okay? Letter from who? Oh, okay, so it wasn't a letter sent to Rixia, it was a letter sent to Ilya. From Jin? Who's Jin? Wow, we're getting lots of new characters today. Oh, maybe it's like a stalker. Oh, wow. Or maybe it's like one of those crazy fans, you know. If I can't have you, no one can. It's like ready to kill her or something. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Maybe you'll need some um, special police protection. Oh, okay, so it's not just Sister Cessa who has the big boobs. Yeah, Rixia, she has them too, gotta say. Oh, really? Got you excited. Hmm. <laughs> um, what? Really? Um, okay... Ilya wants to rub your boobs? What the fuck, game? Holy crap! <laughs> wow! So, does Ilya really go that way? Or is this a translation error? Or am I just reading things into this that I shouldn't be? Um, yeah. Boob rubbing? That's going a little bit too far. That's not exactly coaching. Wow, she wants to rub your boobs, and then she wants you to spend the night at her apartment. Whoa, this girl moves fast, man. But you know what they say about lesbians, you know, they go on one date and the second date is getting the U-Haul moving on in. Um, I think that you have ulterior motives, Ilya. I wouldn't be throwing stones. <laughs> wow. So Ilya is basically saying that because Rixia is pretty, she's going to get raped and she's asking to be raped? Like... Whoa, this is like from the Stone Ages. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Oh, I, I'm gonna guess Ilya is a lesbian. Now she's getting a call from a girl and she's excited about it? Um, okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it or anything. I'm, I, I'm, I'm all about it. I support it. Hey, whatever. But it's just shocking to me to have like an open lesbian in a JRPG because normally that's just unheard of. Or, you know, if they do have a gay person in a JRPG, they're always the villain. Kind of like Kena in Wild Arms 2. Well, he was gay in the Japanese version, and then turned him into a woman for the American version, because God fucking forbid. Or that guy in Wild Arms 5, too. He was kind of crazy. Oh, 
so uh, who's on the phone over here? Oh, yeah, to practice. Sure. Is this her girlfriend or something? Oh, it's Sister Cecil! Oh! Huh. Well, and then it's not her girlfriend, or at least we know that. Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe she can get some extra tickets for Lloyd and we can all come too. The Anniversary Festival. Aww. I'm gonna imagine that means like A rank tickets or first row tickets or something. Oh, huh. So Ilya seems to really like Cecil, but you know, she's barking up the wrong tree over here. Cause I think that Cecil actually likes Lloyd. You know, she's moved on from Guy, and Lloyd's cutesy wootsy batootsy, so why not? <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. You know, injured men, or like geriatrics or something. I don't know exactly who she's going to meet at work. Maybe that crazy doctor? That one who's like a sadist? He's into like SM and all that? Oh, yeah. Invite Lloyd. Totally. How do you know Lloyd? Unless they spoke on the phone earlier and Cecil just kind of told her. Yeah, you should. I'd like to see the play. It'd be nice. We saw Rixie's dancing. That was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> the finishing touches, if you get it. <laughs> Billy wants to do some touches of her own. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's still mourning Guy. Feel bad for Sister Cecil. Feel bad for Guy. Guy was so hot. What's going on? Why do all the hot ones have to die early? It's so unfortunate. Who's talking right now? Oh! Oh, this little kid at the Epstein Foundation. Huh. He looks really young. He looks like that little kid, like, what was that kid's... Dennis the Menace, that's who he looks like. Who's your client? You look way too young to be working. But, you know, he is a computer wizard, and it is a JRPG, and as we all know, the younger you are, the smarter you are, the better you are with computers. Of course! Because, you know, actual ex job experience means nothing in a JRPG. This music reminds me of, um, Misty's little radio show, what was it called, um, Abin Time. Yeah, I gotta agree with you there. I hate cold pizza. Oh. Okay. How many monitors does this kid need? My god! Like, I only have one monitor, that's all I need, but I've seen some people at work, they have two or three monitors. This kid has like, what is it, seven monitors? I mean, come on. Kitty's true identity? What kitty? Who are you talking about? Jonah Sacred, I guess that's your name? Is it written in, like, Old English or something? Oh. The waterfront area. Huh. 
Oh, yeah, that's where uh, the, the Hayu Trading Company was settled in the waterfront area. So are you intercepting their emails or something? Yin. Hmm, who's Yin? We've heard of Jin, but not Yin. Is that the Black Assassin? Man, we have so many unanswered questions. And uh, I looked this up, and it's actually translated, I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, because I've been wrong, as Golden Sun, Silver Moon. Which reminds me of something from uh, Trails in the Sky the Third, actually. But that was Golden Road, Silver Road. Hey guys, what's going on? Nice relaxing day. Oh, I guess they're doing some sort of secretarial work or something. Oh, that's nice. Sounds good to me. I've been doing meal planning lately myself. Um, pretty much been making beans, rice, peppers, onions, um, and then I have, like, salmon with it, and I've been having that pretty much, uh, all day long. <laughs> I've been doing it for about a month now, though, and I've really noticed a difference, so, yeah, I like it. All about it. It's easy, too. Really easy to do. They were directing tra- There's not any, any cars out there! We've, we've only seen, like, what, three cars this entire game, and they have to go out there and direct traffic? Come on, now. Don't they have more important things to do? Oh. Wait, they weren't even, like, directing traffic? They were just giving out parking tickets to, like, meter maids now? Oh, I really hope we don't have to do, like, a meter maid side quest. Oh, yeah, the Arcane Seal new keys. Hey. <laughs> oh, okay, so I... Oh, wow, I actually got the translation right! Who knew? Oh, man, sometimes I shock myself. Oh, poor Rand. Maybe Lloyd can get some tickets. Maybe Sister Cecil can get tickets for all of us. That'd be nice. Yeah, it's like the most popular show around. Ah, oh, did you? Huh. Oh. Is it a musical performance, or is it a play? Something tells me, I think it's like a dance routine, again, like, like uh, Cirque du Soleil. I've seen a bunch of those shows. They have their shows in Vegas here. They're really good. They have O, oh, they have Ka, they have Love, they have um, the Michael Jackson experience. They have a bunch of them. There's two species of human. <laughs> Ones who've seen the play with her and ones who haven't. Wow. Yeah, seriously. Man. Oh, Randy. You're a mess. Wow. Oh. Is she really that good? She's like a dance genius? Huh. Well, you know, we're kind of growing in popularity, and people seem to like our work, and we've been, you know, stopping the Mafia and everything. So, you know, people must know about us, so the more people who know about us, the more requests we're going to get. Makes sense to me. Oh, the Crossfell Founding Anniversary Festival and the debut of ARC and CL. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Whenever you have more events, you're going to have more police work, because there could be more crime and all that kind of stuff. So we still get all the crap jobs. That's just lovely. Oh, huh. Well, that's good. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, I would love to be compared to Estelle and Joshua. Estelle and Joshua are amazing. That's a, that's a total compliment to get compared to those. Or maybe it's because they're in love. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're kind of hated by the other sections. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Estelle doesn't really think before she acts. Joshua was kind of more methodical. Yeah, you know, they did kind of save Liberal on multiple occasions. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, uh, the little dog. Zai! A little pup. So sweet. Oh! oh. <laughs> Maybe he's up there with a the cat. Yeah. By the way, you should be feeding that cat every single chapter. I'm probably going to be doing it off-screen. Eh, we'll see. He's... he's divine! What kind of rules do you want him to follow? And also... He's a frickin' dog! It's not like you can just talk to him and tell him what to do. Oh, we get flashback time! Oh, that's the... the, the Mafia's truck, the little Catmobile. Yeah. Oh, you had to save that little annoying-ass brat. Ugh. I would say let the truck hit him, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, really? How so? Aww, yeah. Well, he's a sweet little puppy dog. I don't see why not a beast had to him too. He's a baby. It's pretty bad that, uh, Zeit is more popular than you guys, though. Oh, yeah, totally. What kind of requests do we have? Ooh, nice! Oh, cool. Oh, great, that's just lovely. Of course there is. Well, let's check out our quest that we have going on here. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we have a monster extermination. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, that's over in uh, Amorka Village. And what else we got? A name of practical test. Okay, over at the Orbal Store, you deal with that. Guardian Force Drill. Why do you, we have to go and do their stupid drill? Oh, Tandrum Gate Commander, we haven't been there yet, so we'll have to go down there as well. And West Crossbell Highway Monsters. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for the little special note. And we're going to start on all these quests next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails to Zero. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.